Let's talk about bear spray versus firearms. Now, right now, I am in the Rocky Mountains. I am sitting right in the middle of bear country. And where do I have right here? I have a rifle. And in addition to a rifle, I also have a handgun on me. And they say, but Paul, all of the wildlife experts, all of the park and game experts recommend that you carry bear spray in the woods. And it looks exactly like this. It comes with a, a orange safety, you slide it off, you push down the top and it shoots out about 10 to 12 feet in a fogging pattern and you fog the bear. Here's the reality of the situation. Many people have been killed, maimed, eaten by bears after they deployed an entire can of bear spray. And you say, well, why do the wildlife experts recommend bear spray if it doesn't work? Here's the deal. It works sometimes. It depends on how the animal is behaving. Now, if you are a seasoned outdoorsman, if you're a seasoned hunter, if you're a seasoned woodsman, you can tell the behavior of a bear. Let's say you come out of your tent and the bear is ripping through your stuff. It's digging through your stuff and you yell at it and you're like, ha, ha, get out of here. And it won't go away. It won't leave. It won't off. You need the bear who's going through your stuff to off. So what you do is you get your spray and you spray the bear. This is off spray, okay? The bear is annoying, the bear won't go away, the bear won't leave you alone, he's going through your You just need him to off. If a bear or any other wild animal puts their head down and they charge directly at you, chances are really good that they're going to attack you. They're going to claw you, bite you, rip your face off, okay? How do you deal with an animal that is attacking you directly? How do you deal with an animal that has attacked someone you care about and has knocked them to the ground? This is not the answer. If an animal is in the process of attacking, bear spray will annoy it later after it's all done, after it's done killing you, maiming you, ripping your face off, it'll go away and it'll be really annoyed because all that pepper spray is in its eyes and nose but it's not going to stop it from killing you. You need a rifle, preferably, but if you don't have a rifle, let's say you're just hiking or camping or whatever, and you're not carrying a rifle, then carry a handgun. A big handgun, and a handgun that you can shoot well. It doesn't do you any good to have a handgun that you cannot shoot well. This here, I'm sorry, this is a Glock 21. 45 ACP, it's loaded with honey badger ammo. A lot of people like to carry the Glock 10 millimeters. If you don't like autos, carry a 44 Magnum. I don't care, but the fact of the matter is this. If you're in the woods and a bear, a wolf, coyotes, mountain lions, whatever the f attacks you, puts its head down, sees you as prey and comes right at you, the bear spray is not going to stop them. If they're legitimately intent on attacking you, you can empty the whole can, they're gonna chew you up, and then they'll be done. So, when is bear spray good? Bear spray works if you have an annoying, curious, meddlesome animal that won't leave you alone, won't leave your shit alone. You need that animal to off. You use this. This is the off spray. If the animal is attacking you, you need a firearm. I don't give a what the Bambi police say. If an animal is no attacking you, you need a lethal force instrument to stop it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the truth when it comes to bear spray.